new study came out revealing where we dyslexics potentially are excellent and where this excellency might get us into trouble. As a dyslexic with a MA in Education Studies, I am always excited when I can share information on the topic of dyslexia that is not just negative and that is also credible. So that is why I like the study and I think why you will like it as well. Now, the researchers that conducted this study knew that little brain activation, like we're seeing when a dyslexic is reading, can be accompanied by large amounts of brain activity in a different area of the brain. So there might not be a lot going on over here, but at the same time, there is a big firework over here. The researchers assumed that the firework area of dyslexic brains is actually where all emotional things are being processed. In order to find answers to this assumption, they showed a movie clip to a group of dyslexics and a group of non-dyslexics. And in this clip, different emotions were displayed. And at the same time, they were measuring the facial behavior, they were measuring the respiration rate, so like how heavily they were breathing. They also measured the heart rate of the participants. And from your own experience, you probably know that when you get nervous or when you get emotionally triggered in a different kind of way, you get sweaty palms or fingers. And that is something that can be measured and can be compared between groups. So they measured that as well, and the parents had to answer a bunch of questions. So now that you know what they did, let us take a look at the results of the study. When we look at the facial behavior, we see that the dyslexics reacted more strongly to the video that was shown. Also, the respiration rate of dyslexics was higher, so it seems like they were breathing more heavily. But the biggest difference was actually how the skin reacted to the little film that was shown. And we see that there is a far greater activation within the dyslexic group, indicating that the emotional response of dyslexics was stronger. The exciting thing about this is that we dyslexics apparently pick up more easily on subtle emotional cues in our environment because we're more sensitive to them. And the researchers say that we have better real world social skills. But at the same time, they're also saying that we're more likely to struggle with anxiety and depression. In order to drive this point home, I want to share this quote with you. Being highly attuned and sensitive to the world around us can be an asset as well as a liability, making people with dyslexia keen observers of silent cues in the environment, yet potentially at risk for too many powerful feelings. Is this actually how you would describe yourself, as highly attuned and sensitive to the world around you? If so, and especially if you are a dyslexic, then let me know in the comments below. Now, if you are interested in additional information on the topic of dyslexia that is uplifting and positive, then have a look at this video. A bunch of people really liked it, and I bet you would too. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.